Now then, welcome to another video. So, um, let me just brighten this slightly. A bit overcast today. There we go. Is that a bit better? Yeah. So, um, just a bit of a progress report really on where I am with my um, British Eighth Army stuff for bolt action. So these are all Perry miniatures. Um, everything you can see in front of you there is plastic from the plastic box set. So what I managed to squeeze out of that one box set is um, two platoons. Um, two small platoons, only two sections in each. Um, but because we're having a multiplayer game uh, tomorrow, actually, um, I'm trying to make two small forces out of what I've got um, just to introduce some new players and things into the game. But anyway, what we've got then, we've got the first platoon over here. Um, so we've got a platoon commander there um, and his radio operator. Uh, you've got two sections of seven men. Uh, the NCO has got a... Uh, SMG and there is a Bren in each section as well so you've got an SMG there uh, and the Bren team there um, and then in this platoon as well um, I've given it a 2 inch mortar and the anti-tank rifle um, so this is kind of my fire support type platoon uh, and then this platoon over here is going to be more of an assault platoon so same again really uh, I've got my platoon commander and his radio operator, but both of them this time have got SMGs. Um, another section of seven, uh, exactly the same as those, and another section of seven there. Um, now support, um, but I'm going to do it then. The first thing I'm going to add is a Vickers machine gun team. This is, um, just finished this off this morning actually. Um, so there you go, that's a metal um, Perry Miniatures Vickers. Came out right in the end. Pretty cool. Um, so that's going to be attached to this platoon here, which is the the fire support type platoon. And then the other support for the fire support platoon um, will be the two pounder, which I've shown you before. So I'll go with those as well. And then to tow that, um, we've got the little Bren carrier which again I've shown you before um, in my last video so I'll put it in behind there as well so that's that's the first platoon pretty much done uh, now the second platoon the first bit of support I'm going to add to this is um, a medic this is uh, Pistol Pete oh sorry Pistol Pete the mad, mad doc uh, if it will focus. No, yeah. No, I don't want to focus a bit, but yeah. It's just a, uh, a plastic, another plastic one. Uh, I paint him up with a medic. So we've got the doctor there. Um, and then the, th the free artillery spotter that you get for being British. I'm not quite sure what to do with him yet, so I'll stick him in the middle. Um, and then first piece of support then is an armoured car now this is very recently painted up painted in the last couple of days this is my uh, mom and Harrington mark 2 i believe uh painted up in the corner camouflage scheme as well this is a perry miniatures resin model as well uh came out quite nice i think i'm quite happy with it anyway um Again, the antenna there is made out of a piece of guitar string. It's made a couple of little pennants on there um, out of tin foil. Uh, oh, and what I did do, I'll put him down. No, I won't. Just bring him a bit closer. What I did do is, see on top there, just there, I made uh, a little teacup. I actually made that out of a piece of plastic sprue. Uh, I made the handle out of a um, paper clip. So uh, yeah, Private Smith up there. He's got his got his brew, so he's a happy chap. Right. So there's the Mammon Hamilton. To apologise, not the camera again. Uh, and the second one then is I painted this up last night. I finished it off last night. This is my Valentine Mark Two. Uh, two pounder gun. Uh, Quacks one machine gun in there, um, and this is a, a Blitzkrieg miniatures model. Um, bought from the Perry Miniatures website, 
so it's scaled uh, to the rest of the Perry stuff. Um, yeah, what I was going to say about it. Great little model. Um, just one big chunk of resin. So the whole model there is uh, is resin, um, and the only separate part is the turret. Um, so that's all one piece, uh, and then the turret is one piece apart from um, the gun itself, which is metal, and that top hatch is metal. Um, and it had a separate resin machine gun, which snapped as soon as I put it on, so I drilled the hole out and put a piece of wire in there instead. It was a little bit more sturdy. But um, yeah, great bit of kit, hardly any cleanup required, really quick to do, no sticking together, perfect. And there's a little bit of weight to it as well, which is great. Uh, yeah, says me Valentine. Turned out quite nice, I think. Um, that will stick in there. Uh, yeah, so there's my two platoons. Uh, and then I've got my artillery spotter there. And then the last thing I've got is, when I bought the uh, Armies of Great Britain book from Warlord, I got this this guy free. Um, Captain Charles Upham, I think. So I painted I know he's not supposed to be, but I painted him desert colours. Uh, painted his little pips on his shoulder there and he can be a senior officer um, that I'll attach to one of the platoons uh, as another commander so all that basically comes in at about 1200 points ish something like that about 600 points each roughly somewhere in the region of um, and that's good enough to be going on with uh, future plans for it I'm not quite sure I might bump the infantry sections up to 10 men each um, I'm not sure. I might just get another pair of miniatures plastic box set because that way I can give that platoon the internal support weapons as well, so the two inch mortar and the anti tank rifle as well. Uh, yeah, but I'll look at it. I might, ugh, there's so much I could add, isn't there? I'll leave it there. Um, just one last thing as well. I don't know if anybody else does this, but when you're painting up your miniatures, because I've been asked a few times um, what colours I'm using and things. Um, I've got this little book, it's like a little artist sketchbook, it cost me about a pound fifty or something from a from an art shop. Uh, and in there I just uh, write down pretty much whatever whichever it, army it is I'm working on, I uh, make a record of it there because I always forget um what colours I've used and you end up with stuff with all different colours and different shades, so I try and keep a record of it now. Uh, and there's one there I did for my Space Marines, um, for my Canadian Infantry, and then just some little top tips there from Mr. Darklinger uh, Eldridge, if you haven't seen his channel. He did a, did a series of videos about colour modulation and things like that, um, about how you mix colours to it's all, um, sound, sounds mind-boggling but actually makes sense. So I just drew it out there to help me understand what it was on about, the basics and stuff. So as I going forward, as I'm doing uh, more projects, hopefully this book will get filled up with all, all the different stuff that I'm working on. But anyway, that's about me. Thanks very much for watching. I'll put a couple of still pictures at the end of the uh, uh, the armor car and the tank and things and my newer stuff I've been working on. Uh, but thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.